In this video, we're going to go over glial cells or neuroglia. Within the nervous system, we often talk about the neurons because these are the cells that transmit electrical signals throughout the body. But there are a lot of other cells as well, and very prominently, there are glial cells, which historically have been largely ignored and just thought of as support cells for neurons. But as further research has been conducted on glial cells, it's been found that they have rather important roles in the nervous system. For the MCAT, these are the major glial cells that you need to know, and there's this diagram here that summarizes their general roles. So Schwann cells and oligodendrocytes are both involved in the formation of myelin sheath around the axons. The Schwann cells form the myelin sheath in the peripheral nervous system, whereas oligodendrocytes form the myelin sheath in the central nervous system. Astrocytes link neurons to the blood supply. Neurons, of course, are cells that need access to blood to access nutrients as well as release their waste. Ependymal cells, these are cells found within the ventricles of the brain, and they're responsible for the production of cerebrospinal fluid, CSF. And finally, microglia are the resident macrophages in the central nervous system, and they have an immune role.